As a beauty editor for New Beauty Magazine, there is always a new product, treatment, or trend to try. I'm Ana Jimenez. Follow me and some of my favorite experts in the industry as we experience all the beauty world has to offer. This is Beauty Experienced. On the fly, no fuss beauty treatments are everywhere. There are blow dry bars, brow bars, braid bars, basically, there's a bevy of bars. And all to just get one thing done. The days of luxuriating for hours in a beauty salon are over. Today, I'm here to check out the latest in express services for MAC makeup. Need a quick smoky eye? How about just a bold lip? Contouring? No problem. At the new MAC Studio, you can come in for 10 to 15 minutes, pay 10 to 15 dollars, and leave with a gorgeous on-trend look. I meet up with MAC Cosmetics Director of Makeup Artistry, Romero Jennings, to learn all about it and to get some services done for me and my friends. What was the idea behind starting this MAC Studio? So the idea for this location really just came from the customers themselves. They told us that they really wanted to have more services, they wanted to have more time with the artists, and MAC created the store just for that. And what are you guys doing here? Because back in the day, you could go to the MAC counter, you could get a full face, you'd have to buy some products. What's different about this store? What's really different is that the time is put aside just for the service. So you can really book with a convenient booking tool, come in, get your makeup done, and leave in a timely manner. You also have lessons. You teach people how to do makeup. Our consumers really want to learn. They want to leave with products, knowing what to do, and that's what MAC is really famous for. But you keep a couple secrets to yourself. We always have secrets. <laughs> we all do, don't well, we? Well, you're going to share some secrets with us today. Yes, tips the, and tricks. In the spirit of sharing. That's right. OK, so tell us first about the colorful eye. I think we should do the most trendy color that's really hot right now on you. So it's going to be this electric cobalt blue. Very cool. Yes. So it's very hard to get this bold, vibrant look. How do we do this at the Mac Studio? Well, I have to tell you now, the difference is really technology. If you're using a product that's three or four years old, just know that the technology has changed. So if we're doing the bold eye, the most important thing is to use a base, a primer that's gonna really keep everything in place. So I suggest Paint Pot. Paint Pot is a shadow that you can use as a base that will dry down and it will last for six to eight hours. It'll stay in place. Then we're gonna add the bold color on top of that. We will also use a Pro Longwear eye pencil which has a super vivid color and lasts for six to eight hours. Okay, so now we're doing the bold lip. That's right. What are we doing for the bold lip? What is the hot color? Okay, so the hot color still right now is red and I feel like many women have issues with trying to find the perfect red. So the main thing is, if you want to look for the perfect red, you've got to come into a store. You've got to try it on your skin. First, try on your hand. But then you really need to apply it close to your face just to see what it looks like. For her, with her skin tone, I think the best color is going to be a blue-based red, something like MAC Red, something like Ruby Woo. But I think today we should do a trend lipstick, okay. which will be matte and red, because that's really hot for this season. Now, that's hard to pull off on your own. So you're going to take us through some tips and tricks to apply it. OK, so for the bold lip, you really want to use a lip primer first. The main thing is to use the lip primer properly, that you want to apply it on the lip, but go over the lip line also. Then you'll use the Pro Longwear Lip Pencil, apply and fill the entire lip in with the pencil, and then finally, a matte lipstick on top of that. It makes it really last. It will not move, will not feather, will last all day, and it's also kiss-proof. Oh, very nice. Use a little bit of foundation and concealer to set it, and also by putting the foundation around it, you'll find that the lip will look more electric. It will look more three-dimensional. And finally, we have the contour face. Yes. Such a trend. Yes. So contouring is really important because it's a way to look slimmer and to add dimension instantly. And our artists really know how to do that very well. So customers come in for this, this uh, service really often. The first thing is to do a very light, natural application of foundation. The next thing is that we're using the Pro Longwear Paint Pot and the right brush. I would say the number 168 is the best because it's chiseled, it has an angle, and it's also fluffy. So the most important thing is to get precision, but then be able to blend so it looks natural and also approachable. The most important thing is placement. So contouring will really be where you want to have a shadow happen. So it could be to chisel the cheekbone, it could be to slim the jawline, slimming the nose, and even softening the forehead. And that's where we're going to contour today. 
So women can just come in, they can sign up on the app? Tell me about the app. That's right. The app is a really easy booking tool for, book, for booking your application. You can do it by your iPhone, you can do it by your computer, really easy. You can come in, get your makeup done, someone's here waiting for you, get a few products if you need to before you go, and you're on at the door. Thank you so much for having us. We all look gorgeous. You guys look great. Thank you for coming in.